Okay, I just got the latest chess face software, chess face 15. I've heard everybody uses it. I want to get my rating up and I know this is a good software, but I'm very confused on how to use it. I don't know the features. Will anybody help me? Well, Autanshu, I'm sure, is not the only one who's puzzled with how chess base 15 works. There are a lot of users who have bought Chessbase 15 and are always uh, curious about how to use it in the best possible manner. This tutorial is going to solve a lot of your issues. It's going to be part by part. In the first part of this tutorial, I'm going to teach you one of the most important features of Chessbase 15, which is how to save your games. With this lecture, you will understand this basic concept on which Chessbase works which is to save your games of chess and I think it's extremely important. Now on your desktop you can see that there is the logo of Chessbase 15. But let's first begin with how to save the game. So here you see the board, you click on it. Yeah and now I'm going to show you one of my favorite games. It's just 14 moves. I was playing against a very good player who was rated nearly 2150 and just let's go over the moves. Now d4, d5, c4, e6, knight c3, c6, e4, d takes e4, knight e4, knight takes f6, knight f6, g f6, knight f3, c5, d5, e5, queen c2, knight a6, a3, queen d7, bishop d2, queen g4, h3, bishop, uh, queen g6, and now bishop d3 was played. And here my opponent took the pawn and I would like to just ask you a small question here. How should white win the game? Pause this video and try to find the answer to this question. I hope that you were able to spend some time and that you could find the very nice cunning move in the position king to e2. White is winning after this move because the queen on g2 is going to be trapped. I'm not going to get into the details of why this wins. But suffice it to say that my opponent resigned the game at this point. So now I've put in the game. This is great news. I need to save it. So this is very important. So I go control S. So let's say the new folder is Sagar Chess. You can give the name as per your requirement. I like to call it Sagar Chess. And inside it, I would like to create folders, different folders. So first one would be opening, second one would be uh, middle game, third one would be end game. Now I'm not going to save all of this in this but my main idea is that I am creating different folders where I can save my databases. And the last one for now is my games and this is where I'm going to save my current game. So I double click on my games and I say annotated games. This is the name of the database. I open it and it asks me what are the names of the players. So I put in the names of the players. White was Sagar Shah here. And black was Debaditya Sinha Biswas. It was played at National B. This is the name of the tournament in 2009. Uh, Elo White was, I think, 2304, if I'm not wrong. And Elo Black was 2169. The round was number 2. And the result was 1-0. It was played somewhere in 2009. I am not aware of the month and the day so I will remove it and you can say ok and I have been successful in saving my game so if I close this now over here you will see that the new database has been created here which is called annotated games or you can call it my games whatever you would like just right click on it go to properties 
and say that this is your my games now when you do this a heart comes here so it's very easy to identify the games you can keep your databases in uh, tile format or you can right click and you can go to view and say details it shows as details here it depends on which way you like I'm personally I like uh, detail format perhaps you would like tiles format because it looks um, there are much bigger uh, icons over there but essentially this is how you save your games in Chessbase 15 and I hope that you will be doing it for all the games that you play no matter which tournament it is big or small.